Hi everyone, welcome to the 9th session of Confusion Matrix. In this session, I'll show you how to use the pandas underscore ml package. This package will help us to get the values of precision, recall, classification, report, p-value, f-value, each and everything which is related to statistics. I will say this is one of the best package and it is really readily available. If you have not, not installed this package, please open your anaconda prompt and type uh, uh, pip install pandas underscore ml and it, this will be installed. Now what I will do, I will not explain about this logistic regression because our intention is different. Yeah? So uh, we will import pandas numpy and then we will uh, uh, like from sk learn dot linear model we import the logistic regression we will uh, then what we will do we will import our input files so what is the shape of my input variable it is 150 rows and 10 columns and what is the shape of my output it is 150 rows and 10 uh, one column after that i'll build the logistic regression i'll fit the model and then i'll predict so this is predicted now we'll start with our so what i'll do i'll import uh, from pandas underscore ml will import confusion matrix i will create our object of the confusion matrix which is equals to and then wherein we will pass the we will pass the y and y this will error out okay now if you see here y dot shape this is 150 rows and one column and if you pass see the y pred dot shape there is no dimension in this so because of this it, it is uh, it it errored out what you will do now before this confusion matrix we will change the shape of y is equals to y dot shape reshape not shape 150 comma this this is not an array first so what i will do y is equals to y is equals to np dot array and pass y okay type of y is y is array okay now we'll, and uh, if you see the shape of y is shape of y is 151 now we'll reshape it okay now you type in here again and you see the shape of y so now if you execute this now your confusion matrix is created now try to print confusion matrix so our confusion matrix is created right in this step what we'll do we'll, i'll show you how to plot a uh, confusion matrix using matplotlib this is the object of confusion matrix which we have prepared you take this and confusion matrix dot plot simply execute these two lines and uh, because we are uh, using matplotlib we have to give import okay so this is our confusion matrix using matplotlib is created now though it is created but i don't see which are my classes which are my labels i don't see the annotation i don't see the normalized part so step by step we will achieve that okay so we have seen how to uh, plot the confusion matrix now i will show you how to normalize the confusion matrix so we'll take this confusion matrix dot plot and then what we'll do i'll give So now, if we simply if we simply execute this confusion matrix, we get the values. Okay, the scale is between zero to thirty-five. Okay, and if we if we plot it using the normalized, then it is scale between zero and 0.75. Okay, now I'll show you why we are doing. Uh, it just give me five minutes when we reach that that function where which i am referring to then i'll show you why we do uh, why we are plotting a confusion matrix and we are normalizing it so as for what we know when we create the plot okay we don't see a number in this uh, in the confusion matrix right only we can see the scaling which is present now how to uh, create a, how to uh, beautify our confusion matrix using a c1 and then what we'll do we'll give Backend is equal to C1. Execute this. Now you can see it is much more visible and it's uh, very uh, fancy, right? After this, what we will do, we will normalize using C1. Normalizing means uh, it's changed the uh, like uh, scaling, okay? It will be normalized. Okay, so you can see now the scaling is changed from 0 to 0 0.6.7 at most. After this, what I'll show you, still uh, I am reached there. Now what we'll do, uh, normalize and 
also use the annotation and uh, what annotation will do i'll show you now is missing now if we execute this okay we can see the values which is present in my each cell now what we know th this horizontal wise is my predicted and this is my actual okay so if you see here for class 0 64% is predicted correctly whereas the remaining uh, percent is not uh, uh, predict or you can get a percentage here okay now for my uh, class 1 uh, 0.75 is uh, predicted uh, correctly okay class 2 0.57 percent uh, 57 percentage is predicted correctly okay of my classes so in other words what we uh, the annotation will show you the value and now it is much more readable and also as per one of the definition uh, this normalization will be really helpful in case of the class imbalance and in this our case we have the class imbalance in our case all the respective class is not present in the equal numbers so this is where it really helps to get the insights okay now after this we will i'll show you how to print the statistics which is like a gold you have stuck some gold okay because that's where it really helps If you execute this you can see you have got everything what I was referring to right from the pop classes population positive negatives okay the true positive true negative false positive false positive false negative sensitivity to positive rate to negative rate false positive rate false negative rate then false out everything you see f1 score is there your p-value everything will be there okay now after this there is something more again if you, instead of this if you want to just print the stats okay instead of print stat just give stats what it will show See, you can get the 95 percent class interval is there and you have the p value is present there you have kappa value you have everything okay so this is one of the best package which will really help you to get the readily available uh, terms you don't have to struggle if you don't know the meaning of the thing but again if you don't know the stuff and you want to learn it there is something called reverse engineering and i'll show you how to get the value okay so Till now what I have done, I have shown you uh, using a Seaborn package, I have shown you how to plot uh, using the confusion, uh, using a normal plotlib, then using the Seaborn I have shown you how to plot, then using Seaborn annotate and normalize how to normalize it and get the values in the cell and after that I have shown you the print stat. Now after this, if anyone is interested then only they can watch because this is related to the reverse engineering how we can get the values and then we can learn it. That's how in some of the cases I have done. If you don't know the stuff, you reverse engineer, you do the reverse process and you get the values. I'll create a DF. DF. once you open this this is this contains all the function and the variable that is used see scikit learn and the sk learn library is nothing but it's a uh, it's a it is in the package form all the formulas all the uh, like uh, all the uh, mathematical cal calculation for the scenarios for the specific terms will be uh, present in your objects okay so I have done what I have done I have simply got it in my uh, column of my objects and then after that I'll just show you okay for i in
Now, if we execute this, we'll we'll get each and every function or values or variable which is present for that specific classes and objects. Okay. Now, after this, uh, this is not done. Uh, we we need to also get see these are the variable and the functions. Okay. We need uh, uh, variables. Okay. We need to get the value. What is the population? What is my plot? What is my predictor? What is my print stat? What is my stat? Everything. How do we get this? I'll create one more list. List two is equals to empty. For i n, not for i n. What we'll do for attribute n p i r of confusion matrix. We'll say get see what I'll I'll try to print this get attribute value and then at the same time I will. Uh, append it to my list too. Okay, and then I will segregate it. I'll just print. Uh, now, if I execute this, see each and every value is printed. You see, for this, everything is printed. Like this is was the value of the statistics, right? This is printed again. What is this value? Every value is printed here. This is my actual predicted, and everything has printed. Now I am still not contented. I don't want it to be segregated, scattered. List one is there. List two is here. Okay. What I will do? I'll add it to df. This is nothing but my values. Df values is equals to list two. Execute this. Now if you go and see the value of df uh, dot head. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the value. In one column you have my uh, objects, and the other column you will have the values of what I have in my object. Now, if I give similarly here, df dot tail, we have created a data frame. Data frame might not open because it has some complications. What you can do, uh, you can move the data set to your df dot to underscore csv. And then you say it in any name abc dot csv. Okay, execute this. Okay, now if you open this, you will see here abc dot csv twenty third four is created. You open and then you can do the further process. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please uh, press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And if you find any error or anything, uh, or if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. I will definitely reply and work on your suggestion. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you.